Hello, my name is Rob McIntosh, and I am currently writing a series called Legend, the Tradition of the Fathers. In this video, you will discover how a legend that began some 1,500 years ago can be relevant to us today. And why is this important? Because there are many voices just clamoring for our attention. We need to do some careful listening to the voices that bring the hope of a legend to fruition. But first, what do we mean by a legend? A legend is a story about real or imaginary people and events that is sometimes widely regarded as historical, but has not yet been authenticated as historical. This is where historical fiction comes in. A story is made up, it is set in the past, and sometimes borrows true characteristics of the time and period in which it is set. Let me use the first book I'm writing as an example. It has a genuine legend from our ancestors at the heart of the fictional story. We can find the legend in the ecclesiastical history of the English people, written in the northeast of England by a monk called Bede, writing in the early 8th century AD. Bede's purpose in writing this history was to help imagine and create one nation out of several kingdoms that were in conflict with one another. In his book, Bede mentions a legend, a story about real and also imaginary people and events. He writes about a few young slave boys snatched from their home in the kingdom of Kent in England and taken by ship to be sold in Rome. They had the good fortune to be released from slavery by Gregory, a monk, and also the abbot of a monastery in Rome. What the abbot learns as he speaks with these boys inspires him to launch a mission to the pagan peoples of Kent. This he eventually does some six years later, after he becomes pope. Now this legend has within it a number of themes and values that shape the future of the emerging nation of the English people. The fictional part of my story is about discovering who these young Saxons were, how they came to Rome, and what happened next. Deep inside Bede's legend of the founding of the English nation are the values that shaped the future of the emerging English people. The belief in one God, salvation, self-sacrifice, the triumph of humility over pride, and God's activity in human lives through love, forgiveness, and healing. There is also a struggle between good and evil, and the legend insists that we should know which side we are on. So we reflect on these young English boys, the courage and endurance it took to travel as slaves on a ship from Kent to Rome. And we also reflect on the response of Abbot Gregory as he listened to their story, being deeply moved by it and responding to it by buying their freedom. And later, launching a mission to bring good news all the way from Rome to their remote island home. If we take a little time to think and reflect on these things, we see that there is a greater purpose of human worth in our own lives too. Our lives matter and we can make a difference, never mind how small. The legend confronts each one of us with questions that only we can answer. Questions such as, what values do you admire? What values do you want to live by in your life? It is true that we flourish by helping others to flourish. What simple act of kindness can you do for someone else now? Thank you for listening.